Hey guys, so as you can see, I'm in my dressing gown and pyjamas. It is midnight here and I'm very, very tired, so this might be a little bit incoherent. However, I wanted to film this and get this out for you guys as quickly as I can because I'm sure you guys want to know my thoughts on this, as you can probably tell. So it's just been confirmed, there's been rumours circulating for a while, but it's officially been confirmed that there will be a Harry Potter TV series on HBO Max. They're rebranding and just calling it Max now, which I find a little bit strange. I don't know, I mean, HBO is so big and so popular, I don't understand why they'd want to rebrand their streaming service. So anyway, my thoughts. I'm scared, I'm nervous, I'm not sure it's a good idea right now. The plan at the moment, uh, from what we've heard, is that e there's going to be seven seasons and there's conflicting reports whether it's going to be set seven years, you know, one um, book for each season. Some people have said it's going to be 10 years. I don't know what they're going to do with that. Um, now, the positives first. I There's so much that they cut out of the books, and as you know, I love the books, so it will be really nice to get the bits that we didn't get. So some examples off the top of my head. Peeves is a huge one. It'd be nice to see Peeves. I don't know if anyone else cares, but for me, Professor Binns and the History of Magic, I was always fascinated by, obviously, that class. I am, like, a kind of, you know, a huge history fan and a historian, so anything to do with History of Magic, I'd love. So I hope we get to see more of the classes that we didn't get to see. History of Magic, Astronomy, that kind of thing. And yeah, like Tom Riddle's memories, for example, not Tom Riddle's memories, but the memories in Half-Blood Prince, if they could be expanded, that would be fantastic. Um, like I say, it's midnight here, so there's probably a lot more that I haven't thought about yet. But in general, those are the kind of things I would like to see. Now, the sort of teaser that they did, it's quite interesting because they use the same music, the John Williams that we all know and love, Hedwig's theme, the same logo that we've, you know, grown to become accustomed to, and the same sort of layout of Hogwarts. Now, I don't know if that's just a placeholder for what they intend to do, because I assume they haven't filmed anything yet or got anything really in place. Or is that the direction they're going to go in? Because I think keeping Hogwarts the same is a smart move, but it's going to be very, very jarring to see new actors, you know, in, in the buildings that we know, in the locations that we know. Uh, again, it's all smart decisions marketing-wise to keep the same music logo, etc., to have it cohesive. But to a certain degree, you need separation if you're going to reboot something. And if they're going to keep the same things, then that separation is not going to be there. So it's going to be really, really hard not to compare. Comparisons are going to happen anyway, of course. But it's going to be even more difficult if it's, you know, the same music, the same locations. Uh, the visual effects will obviously be a lot better, hopefully, <laughs> as we're sort of years on now. But let's take Dobby for an example. If they keep the same or similar character design... It's going to be very hard to separate Toby Jones's portrayal of Dobby with another Dobby. If they look the same and feel the same, that's going to be very, very jarring. I hope that makes sense. Again, very, very late at night and my thoughts aren't quite formulated yet, but I just wanted to get this out as quickly as I can. So, it's a really tough one, this, because if you'd have asked me five years ago, do you want a Harry Potter TV series? I'd have said absolutely, yes. The current climate of things... I'm not going to get into the politics here too much because I have made my thoughts on that very, very clear. I don't know if this is a good idea. I don't know if this is them wanting to erase potentially what's happened in the past. I, I, I don't know. It's very, very hard. I don't know if they want this to feel like a continuation of the franchise we know and love and an add-on, or if they want this to feel like a complete refresh, a complete reboot, and for us to sort of forget what came before it. Which, again, is hard to do when you're using the same music, the same logo, and the same Hogwarts for your marketing material. So I really, really don't know where this is going. Another concern I have as a Brit, and please let me know if you know this, HBO Max, the streaming service, it's going to be just called Max now, um, is that available in the UK? Because I've never had HBO Max because my assumption was that it was a US only streaming service. I, I'm, I thought it was. I don't know if they've changed that now and I could be totally wrong. But obviously it is, uh, Harry Potter should be enjoyed by everybody. I'm not gatekeeping it at all. But it is obviously a British property. And so I would worry if 
uh, the US market got it first, it would make it very difficult, especially with the age of social media with spoilers and everything. So as long as it c comes out in the same at the same time worldwide, if that makes sense, then I'm okay with that. But I do worry with streaming services because obviously certain countries do get things earlier than others, etc, uh, etc. Et so let me know if you know the deal with HBO Max, the streaming service. Do, do we, can we get it here in the UK? I really, really don't know much about the HBO streaming service, to be honest. My experience with HBO has been True Blood, Game of Thrones. I obviously have the DVDs for those and I was quite late to the game with both of them. So I've never watched anything on HBO or HBO Max as it's come out. So I'm really, really unsure about that. But yeah, I'd love to give you some more thoughts, but like I said, I'm exhausted and I just wanted this to come out so you guys knew where I stand on it. I'm conflicted, I'm unsure, I'm nervous. The original Harry Potter franchise means a great deal to me. You know, obviously there is things surrounding it now that, that tar it somewhat, but for me, the, the franchise itself, the books themselves, mean a great deal to me. I haven't obviously played Hogwarts Legacy yet. I'm waiting for it to come out on the Xbox One the oh, and the Switch in, in July. Um, it's interesting that they're doing this after the release of Hogwarts Legacy. I don't know if this is a response to how well the game has performed. I saw on somebody else's video, and I'm so sorry, I can't remember whose it was, an idea that they might use the designs of Hogwarts Legacy to tie this in. I haven't seen, obviously, the castle really in Hogwarts Legacy Hogwarts, so I don't know if it's a good design. I don't know how close it is to the movies. That might be somewhat of an idea to keep it all coherent. I really, really don't know. Uh, I haven't said in this video, but I know it might be asked in the comments, none of the original cast, as far as we're aware, are involved in this at all. So no, Daniel Radcliffe will not be Harry. Obviously, he's a little bit old now. Um, and I really, really do feel for the people who get cast in this because it's an incredible, exciting opportunity for them. And I'm sure they'll do fantastically, but especially the children, the, the, the child actors, I'm very, very nervous because they are, of course, going to be compared to the originals and with the age of social media and how cruel people can be I'm really frightened that you know they're going to get backlash that they really don't deserve so that's always difficult when you reboot new things for adults but especially when there's children involved so I hope that is handled very very sensitively and you know I don't know what they can do for that social media there's always going to be trolls but Hopefully there's a way to sort of censor the, the, the children, the child actors from that in, in some way, I don't know. That is a big concern of mine. But overall, yeah, my thoughts aren't very coherent at the minute, as you can tell. I'm, I'm scared. Will I watch it? Probably. Probably I will. But it's scary. And I know that sounds a bit melodramatic, but like... The books and the movies meant so much to me growing up. I mean, you can see behind me, I, I have an entire room dedicated to the, to this thing. And I'm one of those people who can get put off something very, very easily if it doesn't, you know, reach my expectations kind of thing. So I don't want this, if it goes badly, it might not, to ruin you know, my entire experience with, with everything else. But that's just, you know, a personal thing. So please let me know what your thoughts are on this new Harry Potter TV series. Again, just to reiterate, the only thing that we have confirmed at the moment, there is a teaser trailer, um, it's about 30 seconds long, it's not a lot. The only thing we have confirmed is there's going to be seven seasons based on each book, and that it's on Max, HBO Max streaming service. That's that's all we know, in conjunction, of course, with Warner Brothers. That's it. So we've not got a lot to go on at all. But let me know what you guys think about this news. I will hopefully post another follow-up video when I'm more coherent, when it's not sort of quarter past 12 at night. <laughs> and when I'm not in my pyjamas. <laughs> but thank you for watching. Um, if you got this far with my little ramble, please let me know your thoughts. I'm scared hopeful, apprehensive, everything at once, and excited. It's a new, you know, it's a new page to the journey. So every emotion you can think of, I've got it right now, <laughs> and now I have to go and sleep. So thank you for watching. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you like this kind of thing. Any updates that come out, I will do a follow-up video, and I'll see you all soon. Bye-bye.